So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Diego Costa. He's really got that killer instinct you need in a striker, Peter. He seems to always know where the goal is and where the ball is going to be played too. He's got the movement to gain that half a yard on a defender as well as his, his physical edge to hold them off. In other words, get the ball to him in the box and he's almost certain to, to get something away. Yeah, the easiest way to make it... That's a hit! Tries to get it clear. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Rafael with the delivery. Anatovic tries to get it forward quickly. Costa drives it forward. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, wow! An absolute pile driver! A finish right from the top draw! That has brought the house down, what a wonderful hit. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that in. Boca Juniors break the deadlock. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Martinez. And it's Simeone. Plays it out to the wing. He's got away. <laughs> Baba gets up to him. But really, it was all about the delivery. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Raphael. Mascherano. Raphael. Chupamotti. And here's Simeone. Just brushed off the ball there. Koscielny demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. 
That's believing too much in his own ability to hold on to the ball. And the whistle goes for half time. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. It's the first half compared with your expectation. That was a fantastic 45 minutes of football. I'm really hopeful of more of the same in this second half. So, both teams heading off for the break. An interesting game has brewed up here. Hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half. But the score at half time is 1 1. Already up and running for the second half. Fenerbahce playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Out to the left it goes. Fitz has got rid of that. Safety. Striding forward, facing goal. Hoists it forward. Raphael. Baba. Mascherano. Gagliatini. Baba. And it's Simeone. Empolo. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. And it's Mbolo. Mascherano goes looking. And that's been leave it clear. Kings it out wide. Back in once more. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Felipe. Gagliardini gets it back. Martinez. Mascherano. Gagliardini. And he's going long. That'll be a throw. <laughs> Benobachi showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Mbolo. It's a loose ball. Mascherano. Raphael with the delivery. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Time is up, and there goes the whistle. A very good game of football. No winner, but both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and ends all square. After all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Benobachi certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. I think 
We're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you. Thank you.